The cycling kit allows you to use the carrier as a bicycle trailer. To do so, find the hitch arm included with your carrier. Remove the hitch pin to access the hitch plate. If your bicycle has a quick release axle on its rear wheel, remove it from the bicycle. With the washer, if there is one, and spring on the quick release axle, insert the quick release axle through the hitch plate. Insert the quick release axle into the wheel from the opposite side of the chain and sprockets. Make sure the flat side of the hitch plate and the small end of the spring are toward the wheel. Insert the second spring and engage the nut on the other side of the quick release axle. Make sure the small end of the spring is toward the wheel. While slowly tightening the nut, open and close the quick release lever until there is resistance halfway through the closing motion. Adjust the hitch plate so that the sleeve is vertical and to the rear of the bicycle. Grip the bicycle frame with your fingers and use the palm of your hand to close the lever. Make sure that the nut turned at least four full times. If your quick release axle is too short, you may have to replace it with one that is long enough. If your bicycle has a threaded solid axle, remove the nut and washer, if there is one. Install the hitch plate over the threaded solid axle, making sure the flat side of the hitch plate is toward the wheel. Reinstall the washer, if there is one, and tighten the nut as instructed by your bicycle's manufacturer. Make sure the nut turns four full times before it tightens. Adjust the hitch plate so that the sleeve is vertical and to the rear of your bicycle. Adjust the carrier's handlebar to the rear storage position. This will provide additional side and rear protection in the case of an accident. Watch the adjusting the handlebar video to learn how. Tip the carrier onto its back. Insert the hitch arm into the carrier's left receiver so that the hitch arm bends toward the center of the carrier. While pushing the button on the hitch arm, slide the hitch arm all the way into the receiver. Twist the hitch arm all the way up toward the top of the carrier. Verify that the push button is protruding through the hole in the receiver. Once the hitch plate is attached, remove the hitch pin from the hitch. Bring the hitch over the hitch plate, aligning the holes in the hitch with the hitch plate sleeve. Push the hitch pin through the hitch and hitch plate, securing the hitch pin with the hitch strap down over the lower end of the hitch pin. Loop the backup safety strap around the bicycle's chainstay, attaching it to the D-ring on the underside of the hitch arm. Assemble the two flag rods and slide them into the flag sleeve in the rear left corner of the carrier. You are now ready to use the cycling kit. To disassemble the cycling kit, first remove the flag and disassemble the two flag rods. Release and remove the backup safety strap from around the bicycle's chainstay. Pull the rubber tab off the lower end of the hitch pin. Pull the hitch pin completely out of the hitch. Pull the hitch off the hitch plate, leaving the hitch plate connected to the bicycle. Tip the carrier backwards so it is resting on its back. Press the button on the hitch arm. While the button is pressed down, twist the hitch arm all the way towards the bottom of the carrier. Pull the hitch arm out of the receiver. For storage of the hitch arm, insert the hitch arm hitch first into the cargo compartment at the back of the carrier, leaving the other end pointing upward. And that is how you use the cycling kit.